every kid has the right to have a family, you know. My foster daughter, uh, I took her January 2011, and she diagnosed with a lot of problems. She is blind and deaf. She is uh, has almost no brain, and she have seizures. The only communication with her touch. She loves to be get attention. You know, she likes to be held. When I took her, they told me, if you are lucky, maximum two months, not even some, I said a few weeks or maximum two months. She was six weeks old and uh, she died on her uh, ninth birthday. So instead of celebrating her birthday, we celebrate her life. That's her room. That's her bed. And this is her oxygen machine. And this is her dresser, all this, all this her stuff. I mean, she has clothes more than anybody in the family. I mean, it's really hard, you know. I still didn't comprehend that she died, you know. In my mind, she's still like, she's still alive, you know. kids who has terminal illness, really there is no many homes for them, you know. They stay in the hospital or in the facility, nobody wants to take them. So I commit myself to take care of these kids as long as I am healthy and as, I, as long as I can provide good care for them. I went to the doctor by myself. I was scared, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm adult. You imagine those kids in the hospital, they're little kids and they have nobody with them. This experience humbled me and encouraged me and make me do more for those kids who has nobody. I try to, to get healthy, you know, and I try to uh, make a, like a like small facility for so I can take more kids, you know, because so many kids in the system. From my story, I need to inspire people uh, to extend their hand and help those kids who need help, and I I encourage them to be foster parents, you know, because. So many kids need to be home.